Hi there, my name is Toby Hall. I'm the superintendent at Lake Waccamaw State Park. Today I'd like to talk about the uniqueness of the lake itself. Uh, this is a very special body of water. It's what we call a one-of-a-kind place. Um, it has extreme biodiversity out here. There are over 54 species of fish, 15 species of mussels, and 11 species of uh, freshwater snails that live out here at Lake Waccamaw. Seven species are only found in the lake waters. We have three fish, two mussel species, and two snail species that are only found out here. Uh, the significance of the water out here is the chemistry. The water chemistry is a neutral pH, uh, which means it's neither acidic or basic. It is a neutral on the pH scale. The reason for that is there is a limestone bluff that is located on the north shore. There are four creeks that feed into Lake Waccamaw and those are highly filled with what we call tannic acid. That's what gives the lake its dark tea color out here. The limestone actually neutralizes the acid that comes into the lake water. And um, this limestone bluff, again, is uh, very, very uh, significant because we're trying to protect that from erosion and um, we hope that we can keep that bluff uh, for many years to come here. This is a, uh, again, a very significant body of water out here, so we're trying to protect these very valuable resources. We had uh, an invasive species threat not that long ago that was detected here in uh, October of 2012 uh, called hydrilla, which is an invasive plant. Uh, it was very expensive for us to treat, uh, but we have succeeded in the uh, elimination of that plant. Uh, the tough thing and the challenges that will be for the future is we want to keep uh, habitat invaders from coming back into the lake. So we encourage folks that when they come to Lake Waccamaw to uh, wash and sanitize their boats, uh, you know, uh, drain out their, uh, uh, any live wells or anything like that. Uh, a fragment of this plant can actually float and cause a new infestation and it can survive out of water for several days. So it's important for the future that uh, people pay close attention, be very diligent with cleaning uh, uh, their boats and equipment when they come to Lake Waccamaw and when they leave Lake Waccamaw. We certainly don't want other habitat invaders to invade other uh, crucial bodies of water in and around here. Uh, my favorite part of being uh, the superintendent here at the lake is uh, this resource out here, protecting this resource for many generations to come so they can enjoy uh, Lake Waccamaw. Uh, not just for the recreational aspect of it, but to appreciate these wonderful resources that we have that we, we only have here uh, in Columbus County.